Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about running smoother, how to get more work done, and just enjoy life a little bit better in business. So if you have a small business or you're thinking about getting into small business, this is going to be a good episode for you. So stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. This podcast has been going on for five years. There is tons of episodes, hundreds of episodes for you to go back and catch up on. All 30 minutes long and found anywhere podcasts are. Listen, uh, make sure it's getting downloaded. And it's also on YouTube. So if you want to watch or play it on your computer, you sure can. Um, Just search WCR Nation. But if you are one of the cool kids, sticker... Where's the other sticker? There's another sticker. I still don't have V3 here. I don't know why I keep forgetting to bring it home. My studio here is at home. And Anyway, if you want a new Cool Kid sticker showing the world that you're a cool kid because you buy your supplies through me, huh? Shameless plug. Well, just let me know. 862-312-2026. I put in orders. That's what I do all day, every day. Shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in your cart, man. Make sure you are logged in, and I will get the order in. It is like me pushing the button go on it for you, and you don't have to pay anything extra, but I get credit for it. So if you want to give like a virtual high five, or uh, if you just want to be amazing, then uh, let me put your orders in again, 862-312-2026. And uh, yeah, last shameless plug is American Window Cleaner Magazine. I know you're listening to a podcast right this second. I know you're busy, but just go to awcmag.com or awcmag.com forward slash sub and get yourself a subscription. If you're not subscribed yet, it is literally a monthly magazine that gets shipped to your door. You get a custom window cleaning sticker sheet every single month. So you can deck out your buckets and trucks and everything else. Join the culture of window cleaning. Be an absolutely epic cool kid. And more or less have something to read on the toilet. Huh? Uh, No, but there's awesome pictures. It's just an awesome magazine. Uh, Just surrounding yourself in window cleaning is absolutely amazing. This is what we do. This is our life. So go out there and get it. Uh, It's really, really amazing. Again, 12-month yearly subscription mailed to your door every single month uh and it's like 69 dollars. super cheap awcmag.com go get that Woo. okay by the way it's coming up but i'm going to be at the huge convention i uh, hope you're going to it's in nashville this year um so if anything again i'm not any part of it but uh, i think it's thehugeconvention.com check it out and uh if you're there Say what's up. I literally am telling people because every year people are like, oh, I saw you, but you were busy. Just yell like, what's up, Jersey? Just break through the noise telling you. Say hi. I want to say hi to absolutely everybody. So anyway, okay. So today we are talking all about running smoother. And the reason I always talk about running smoother is, especially this time of year, all everybody's company kind of gets to this point where it's just kind of, uh, discombobulated shambles getting through the busy season, right? We're kind of to that. We're hitting the summer slowdown. Uh, a lot of you aren't even slowing down this year. But what it has done is made us realize that uh, it's not as smooth as we think. There's some things that could always be better. You could have the most pristine, amazing, smooth, well-oiled machine and still get it to run a little bit smoother. Always. Always. And that's what I want to talk about, a couple ways to make it run smoother. Now, I'm not necessarily going to talk about uh, specifics, maybe a little bit, but like ideas, right? A really, really cool thing about business in general is that you can get an idea and come up with a solution yourself. This whole thing, you created this business you have. You created it. So you're the reason it succeeds. You're the reason it fails. You're the reason for everything in its future, right? 
So why not take little ideas like this and anything you find, like say America would include a magazine, like ideas in there. You take it, implement them, or it triggers something for you to think about. And now all of a sudden you can come up with amazing, amazing stuff, right? So that's what we're talking about running smoother. And I have to say, when you create a, a, a business, when it's small, you go, oh yeah, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. And you're doing a thousand things. That's just what it is, right? It's easier for you to do a thousand things than pay a thousand people to do one thing, right? Because in the beginning, it's super, super hard. As you get bigger, you have to bring on more team. You have to kind of have more support. You have to have all that, right? But there's some things that you can actually do to kind of make the whole process smoother. And the first one is building a routine. I know, I know. Building a routine is really um, one of those things that certain people will always need a routine. But even if you don't think you need a routine, you need a routine. (laughs) I'll tell you that. If you go to the gym, it should be at the exact same time for the exact same amount of time each each day. If you don't, then you have to convince yourself every time, every day to go to the gym and convince yourself to stay for X amount of time. If it's a routine, it gets done. It's like brushing your teeth. You brush your teeth at night, you brush your teeth in the morning. Every single night, every single morning, no matter where you are, what you're doing, you're always doing the same thing, right? If you are one of those people that brush your teeth right before you go to bed, you always do it right before bed. It's just a thing, right? If you wake up and do it right away before anything, perfect. If you do it after your coffee, if you do it wherever it is, that's one of those things that becomes routine. Think about it. If you drink coffee in the morning, speaking of coffee, you wake up, you go down to let the dogs out and you hit go on the coffee pot or whatever. Think about it. Things that are on routine will always get done. So you have to build a routine for business. I'm talking about like, you know, in the morning, you get in at, say, 8 o'clock, and between 8 and 8.30, you're printing all the invoices, stuffing envelopes, and getting it ready so that the crews can go out, or you can go out and do it. Everything is ready. Maybe at 5, when you're done for the day, you come in, you wash the trucks, you pull everything out, you bring the towels to get laundry. That's when you do all your envelopes, your stuffing, your whatever, right? Maybe Friday afternoons is when you put together all your social media posts, you do all that stuff, right? There's certain days and certain times that if you build routine, it will get done. I'm telling you, I've gone to the gym for probably, well, since I moved to North Carolina, five years, probably four. Yeah, five, six years, five years. Every single day, the exact same time. And you know what it is? It just is. It just is what it is. If it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's dark, if it's light, I just go, I get up, I leave the house by 8 a.m. every morning and go to the gym. I'm to the office by 9 o'clock every morning, right? If you build that routine, it's almost uncomfortable to not do it. We're creatures of habit, no matter what you think. And if you put yourself in a routine, good or bad, it'll stick. That's the other one. When you're in a routine, make sure it's not a bad routine. Make sure that it's not, oh, I'm so tired from work. I'm going to sit here for an hour on YouTube while I uh, just decompress. If that's your thing, maybe it should be done at the very end of the day so that you can get your things done, right? When people get into a negative routine, that's when they say, oh, man, I got to do this and this and this. I just got to, oh, man, I just got to, I got to like, I got to change it. I got to do this. That's because they're in a negative routine. It's really hard to break routine. But it's really hard to break good or bad routine. So build a routine. Make sure that the things that need to get done, get done. And how do you do that? You schedule your week. Put it all out there. Schedule your week and find out what needs to get done every single week. Now, we talked about marketing calendars. We'll talk about that. We've talked about scheduling your day or we've talked about, you know, routine. We've talked about a lot of these concepts kind of in the past. But how do you schedule your week. What's really, really interesting with scheduling in general is that if you schedule your week, 
anytime you fall off, you can find out where you are. Where you are. Now, if you're not in the field, it's a lot easier to do this. If you're out in the field, you have to schedule your work to land in that. Or you could do what's called a floating schedule. Floating schedule is basically when you trigger the schedule to start, it then goes in blocks of time, not in the hour, right? So if you were in the office, maybe between 10 and 11, you do X, Y, Z. But if you're out in the field, maybe it's a floating schedule that for the first hour is X, Y, Z. So you get done at four, you start hour of X, Y, Z. If you get done at two, start an hour of X, Y, Z. You have to build the schedule or the um, calendar schedule-ish of your duties to match what you're doing. If you say, I work out in the field, and every day at four o'clock I'm gonna do this, what happens when you get done at six? You don't get that done, right? A big thing with scheduling your day and especially blocking your day is to get this product, the productivity up to run smoother just in general. If you schedule that day and your brain falls off or something pulls you or you have a, a fire to put out or something, you can instantly come back, focus again and go, okay, cool, it's 11.15, what am I supposed to be doing? Right? The big thing is, is that we don't really run on perfect schedules all the time. Unless you're in school and that's your job, the bell rings, you know where you're supposed to be, right? But in business, we can have a general rule. We know what we're doing or what we want to do or what we want to accomplish, but lots of things come up. Lots of things pull our attentions away, right? We have to do a lot of things. That's business. That's why we all age terribly. I'm only 22 years old and I look like this. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's because we get pulled everywhere, right? We're wearing 30 hats. We're trying to be the, the firefighter for the crews. We're trying to be the, uh, the uh, salesperson and the estimator and the customer relations. We're going to B&I meetings. We're doing all of this thing, all of these things, all of this stuff. And we're trying to then create structure. We're trying to run smoother but everything still comes in. So remember, if you're uh, scheduling your week, schedule it just more for the fact that you can get back on track when you fall off. Because here's the other thing. If you're sitting there and all of a sudden you're like, oh, geez, okay. I, I was I was doing research on fill in the blank. I got to get back to it. All right, what should I do? Well, you can't trigger yourself if you have to then think about what you need to get done. What was I doing? I can't even think of what I was doing. I can't remember. Systemize it. Okay, well, I started watching YouTube videos on, um, you know, uh, water vent poles at this time. So I lost out that and that's now noon. What do I do now? Right? So feel free to create a schedule. It's a loose schedule, but it keeps you on track by building the schedule, putting it out there. Another thing that you can totally do, totally do, is systemize everything systemize as much as you possibly can. Now, I've talked about this, but if you have an office goddess, right, or you have a assistant or whatever you call them, they will absolutely make your day phenomenal. They will be able to help with all of the other things that need to get done so you can focus on things that you need to get done. If you don't have that, you can build systems. We've talked about it. We've done whole episodes on systems, so I'm not going to go into specifics and systems, but you can systemize everything. When you systemize something, it's making it a plan to do a thing a certain way. The big, big part of this is if you don't have a plan for any of it, you have to then figure it all out. The thing is, is if you systemize the way that your day is, you systemize the way that you clean, you systemize the way that you water fed, you systemize the way that uh, you do laundry or you do your towels or you stuff your envelopes or you, you, you do any of that stuff, you maintain your vehicles, you maintain your equipment. If you systemize it, meaning this is what it is, you create the way things are done. Right? If I go out and I want a McDonald's, I want to buy a franchise, right? McDonald's is a terrible franchise, by the way. 
uh, as far as liquidity goes, it's insane. Anyway, on a a side note, if I want to go and get a franchise of anything, I want a window cleaning franchise. What they do when you buy a franchise, among other things, is they give you a book. They give you a book and they say, here's how you do this. Here's how you run this company. Here is the manual on how you run a McDonald's. Now, what that does in that world is that all of them run the same way, right? Even a franchise and window cleaning, they all run the same way to some degree, right? And the reason is, is because it comes down to even systemizing the experience of greeting someone, right? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is absolutely one of my all-time favorite business stories, especially when it comes to food. They are the third largest food industry place. Did you know that? The third largest. Chick-fil-A locations make almost, well, almost three times the amount that even a McDonald's makes per location. All they sell is chicken. But when you go to a Chick-fil-A, if you haven't experienced it, by the way, you've heard people talk about it, by the way, but go to a Chick-fil-A or watch a video on it. They say the same thing. It's a pleasure serving you. They smile every single time. You go, man, I just went to Chick-fil-A. It blew me away. You go to McDonald's and people are like, uh, what do you want? Burger? All right. um, All right. What else do you like? You can go to a fast food place and they could really wreck it. You're like, man, you employ so many people. It's because that system failed. It's because that um, that process didn't work. But going to Chick-fil-A always works the same way. They systemize that. How do you greet somebody? You smile, then you say this, then you take the order, then you say this, then you go to the next one, right? What that does by creating a system is it makes everything the same across the board but it knows that every single time somebody goes to Chick-fil-A, they get smiled at first, and then when they're done with their order, they get said, it's been a pleasure serving you, right? Or it's my pleasure, I forget. I think it's my pleasure, something. Anyway, you know what they say. Now what that does is once it becomes a system, the experience is the same. Now we're not working on something that, you know, we're not across the board and multi, you know, countries and multi-states and all that stuff. But when it comes to our businesses, if you can systemize something, it gets done that way. I can hand you a system for how we do bids and you will bid it the same way every single time. I can hand you a system for how I take a call or how I schedule something over the phone. I can give you that. If I give you a system, it will be followed. So systemizing everything allows you to do it the exact same way over and over and over. It creates repeatability. If it's the right way to do it, a system, right? We do it this, 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 this. These are all the things. Don't just say, oh yeah, when you talk to people, just be nice, you know? Well, that's open. That's not a system. You're not explaining anything. You're giving a concept. Obviously, they're going to be nice. But here's how you do it. If you do it this way enough times, it will always be done this way. That is a system. Now, I know a lot of you are like, I'm not doing that. This is too corporate. This is doing, you know, this is my business. Listen, what you're doing is creating an empire. You could have 50 employees. You could have 100 employees. You could open up multiple locations. You could fill in the blank. You're going to lose control of everything on a big level. And if you're in a small level, you're going to forget things. If you don't create a system, if you don't create a routine, if you don't create the repeatability, then a year later you're like, oh yeah, didn't we used to, oh man, you remember when we used to, they just get falling off to the side because it never became routine. It never became systemized, right? So make sure that you schedule your week, you build a routine, you systemize everything. And now let's go into some other things. Automating social media. Social media is huge. Now, I know you see my dumb TikTok videos. Uh, If not, search me, jersey underscore WCR underscore nation. Follow me because that's a thing. But on the other side of that is, is that's for 
people to know who I am. I do all this content so people know who I am. So they're like, hey, you know, I got to buy some supplies. I'm going to go through through Jersey. I'm going to get a magazine, right? I really want to take this to the next level. You know, let's see if he's available with any coaching or whatever, right? People need to know me. So that's why I do all this stuff. But for you and your business, people need to know your business. Now, TikTok is, we talked about this. TikTok's cool. I don't see it being a huge thing for a local business. I do see it being, um, you're able to tag cities and things, which could definitely be beneficial. You're not going to make a million dollars off TikTok right now, just because it's a national platform, not a local. But Facebook, that's local, right? Craigslist is local. There's a lot of different things you could do. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, LinkedIn. You could do all these different platforms, but who has time to think about it every day and create social media posts? It's pretty hard. Unless, again, you have a killer calendar. So what you can do is you can actually automate your social media. There's tons of programs. There's Buffer. There is Hootsuite. There is Shift. There's a bunch of them. Actually, you can even use the Meta Suite, which is Meta's Facebook, and schedule things all calendrically right there. You create a bunch of posts, schedule them to go out, and you can do all in an hour. You can schedule, I want to make two posts a day on uh, Facebook. You go on, say, Friday's a little bit slower. You got some time. Your schedule tells you on Friday you're going to put an hour into social media. You build out 10 of them. You put it in for the next week. Guess what? Everything is automated for your Facebook week. That means you don't have to take time to do it any more than that. You don't have to take all that time that every post takes you 30 minutes. You just created everything in 45 minutes because it's easy. Just boom, 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 boom. You don't have to think about if it's getting done. If you're on the phone, if you're putting out a fire, if you're doing Windows, if you're doing whatever, the post is still happening, right? What we're trying to do is get more done, get more done in a repeated fashion and make sure we're not missing anything. So automating your social media helps with all of that, right? Uh, I want to say Buffer is free for three Three different, uh, you can go up to three different social medias. Um, Hootsuite, you have to check Hootsuite. I haven't used that one in a while. But anyway, those are some, just search them. Or go into Facebook business and you'll see if you have a page, business page, you can actually go in there. Uh, I run multiple accounts, obviously. We have American Window Cleaner Magazine. I have um, the WCR Nation and uh, all of those things have to be worked together. I have uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok for all three. So it's like, okay, well, how do I get all of those posts done all at one time, but not have to take up hours every single day to do it? It's just, if it's too hard or it takes up too much time, you won't do it. You won't do it, right? So automate it. That's why the stuff's out there. Automating it creates presence, allows people to know that you're just there. You can do what you need to do. Like, you're doing it, right? Just like the last one I'm talking about is marketing calendar. If you do a marketing calendar, that means you've automated all of your marketing. That means your EDDM. That means your Craigslist posts or your LinkedIn posts for staff or your uh, BNI groups or your uh, automated emails. Maybe you're sending out follow-up uh, postcards. Maybe you're doing a phone blast. Maybe you're doing a text blast. Maybe you're doing all of those things, but when do you do them? You can't just be sitting around and be like, oh, man, I got to do my phone list because it's like days worth of phone list when you've been doing this a little while. You have to schedule it all out. Making a marketing calendar does that. Now, I'm not going to go into marketing calendars because we've talked about that a hundred times. I really, really think it's a really strong uh, thing. The biggest and most successful window cleaning companies will have a marketing calendar, I guarantee you. I know a guy, uh, a lot of you probably know him, super, super popular guy, uh, super awesome guy. He spends about $10,000 a month in print. Now, he has an enormous, enormous uh, company, um, but he's doing $10,000 in print a month. 
That's a lot of EDDM. He has everything on rotation so well that he knows week one, two, and three are group A on Monday, one, two, and three. On Wednesday, one, two, and three is group B. On group uh, two, three, four, on Tuesday, it's group C, right? He's making these things so he knows they're getting hit three times. He knows what's happening. He knows the entire month all at one time. He knows his year of where or what he's doing. He's just figuring out the specifics every month. If you have a rotation that fine, that knocked in, your program is good and you're just printing money. You're just getting that back. That's your marketing calendar. I want to make sure that my customers are getting emails from me with services and different things. What day does it go out? Depending on your email program, you could have a, a, an email set. You could do a whole year with different things if you really wanted. And now you could be doing anything and you know that your Facebook's going out. You know your email is going out. You know, oh, it's uh, second Tuesday. I know what EDDM is going out. If it's raining, if it's sunny, if it's, I know what goes out. I know what's needed. I know what's going out. I know what's done. No matter what else is going on in your life, you've automated it. You've run everything through that marketing calendar, right? Marketing calendar builds that routine. You're systemizing it. You're scheduling it all out. A marketing calendar is all the things we've just talked about. But a lot of people don't do it. And that's cool. Like, again, I'm just some dummy with a... Uh, cardboard back it's not really cardboard but paneling whatever right i'm just some dummy who just talks to people but think about it remember all of the things we talk about are to put it in your head for you to get the idea it's not easy to start in this stuff it's not easy to get your company to run smoother now but it is six months from now Think about what you did this spring, or we'll say summer, spring, whatever. Spring was weird this year, right? I mean, all the rain and it was late. Think about the best month you've done so far. Awesome. Awesome. I did it XYZ dollars. Okay, sweet. Well, guess what? Next year, it's going to be even bigger than that. Truth. If you're a sole proprietor, and you're like, nope, I don't take on new customers. Cool. It will be more smooth next year, that time. You may make the same or a little bit more because you're doing your price increases every year, I hope. But how do I do that same amount of work in less time? Right? If you're out there and you did $10,000 in April, congrats, man. Dude, that's huge. Next April, you're going to do $20,000. How do you do $20,000? How do you double your company in one month? I got to hire more people. I got more. You don't actually know. But if you lay it all out, easy. Easy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll have more staff. But yeah, like I already know what I'm going to be doing, what my posts are going to be doing. I know what uh, all this other stuff. My company's going to run smoother even though I'm doing double. Because it's, it's just running. It's going on autopilot. It's running on autopilot. My business knows what my business needs because you created that. You made it run smoother because you put all of these things into play. Building a routine, systemizing things, scheduling your week, automating social media and your marketing calendar. All of these are little pieces that go to this super strong company. I'm telling you, I know a bunch of accounts or a bunch of uh, customers or a bunch of people who have multi-million dollar businesses. I know a guy, one of the most successful, smartest guys that I've ever met in business. He grows absolutely staggering numbers, staggering numbers. His company is on autopilot. The growth is on autopilot. A lot of people go, oh, I want to get to the big thing and then just ride it out. Cool. You could do that. But his growth is on autopilot. He knows he's growing 
40 to 50 percent, which by the way, when you're early, it's really easy to do 100, 200 percent, right? 100 or 200 percent on a thousand dollars is a lot less than when you're big. 40 to 50 percent growth is ridiculously huge when you're a giant, giant multi million dollar company. But he can do that because it's in play. He knows. His staff knows. His office people know. His operation manager, they all know because he went, hey, here are the systems. Here's how we do it. Here's how we're going to keep doing it. You tweak it from there, but you know what it is. You create an autopilot. He's out doing his thing. And his company is growing and succeeding all the time. If you don't systemize things, every year your company will lose something. It's the truth. But anyway... Okay, shameless plug again. I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. And if you're like, hey, that was a decent episode, shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey, great episode. I have a cart ready for you. It could be 50 bucks. It could be $50,000, right? The order doesn't matter. I just want all of you. I want to be your rep. That's what I do. I want to beat every single uh, um, other rep. (laughs) <laughs> windowcleaner.com I want to beat everybody by just numbers in general I want everybody because I hope I help you I hope maybe you get something out of the content I hope I hope you just want to rep I hope you just want somebody that's on your side I want to be that guy so 862-312-2026 yes it's a shameless plug but yes that's how I make my money so if you want me to eat because I'm wasting away no if you've ever seen me I'm not wasting away um, yeah, let me put your orders in. Anyway, uh, American Window Cleaner Magazine, again, let me grab a different different one so you can see a different cover. American Window Cleaner Magazine. This is how it comes. It's in a plastic um, thing. I got stickers inside this. You get this every single month. It's awesome. It's a great magazine. And uh, yeah, join the culture. If you're on YouTube, look at the stickers, man. These stickers are absolutely amazing, by the way. But I'm partial. But go to awcmag.com forward slash sub, S-U-B. Get a subscription. Do it right now. Do it now. That would be absolutely amazing. But uh, either way, until next week, go out there and systemize everything. Run smoother, but more importantly, be epic.